In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to calculate the area of an equilateral triangle. So let's say if we have triangle ABC, and we want to calculate the area, let's say that AB is equal to 10. What is the area of this triangle? Now an equilateral triangle tells us that all three sides are congruent, and all three angles are also congruent. It's also an equal angular triangle. Now here's the formula that you need to know. Let's say that the side length is s. The area is going to be the square root of 3 divided by 4 times s squared. So s in this example is 10. So it's the square root of 3 over 4 times 10 squared. Now 10 squared is 100. And if we take 100 and divide it by 4, that's 25. So the area, the exact answer, is 25 square root 3. Now as a decimal, that's 43.3 square units. So now you know how to calculate the area of an equilateral triangle. Now let's talk about how to derive this formula. So let's draw this triangle first. So we know that all three sides of an equilateral triangle are congruent. And all three angles are congruent. Now what is the value of angle A, B, and C? So let's call it X. The three angles of a triangle have to add up to 180. So X plus X plus X is 3X. And if we divide by 3, we can see that X is 60. So therefore, each angle in an equilateral triangle has a measure of 60 degrees. Now I'm going to draw another picture. But this time, I'm going to draw the altitude of the triangle, which we can call it the height. So we know that this is 60 and this side is 60. And this here is 60 as well, but that angle is bisected into two congruent angles. So this is 30. And these two sides are congruent. So basically, you can call this a perpendicular bisector if you want to, because it bisects A, uh, this is supposed to be C instead of S. It bisects AC into two congruent parts and it meets it at right angles. So BD is the perpendicular bisector of AC. Now we know that BC is S, and AC is S as well. In order to calculate the area of a triangle, it's 1 half base times height. Now we already have the base. The length of the base is AC, which is S. What we need to find is the length of BD, which is H. Now how can we do that? Well, let's focus on the 30, 60, 90 triangle. Let's say the hypotenuse is 2. Across the 30 degree angle, that side is going to be 1 half of the hypotenuse. Half of 2 is 1. Now, for the side across the 60 degree angle, it's going to be whatever this number is times the square root of 3. So let's apply that to this triangle. So across the 30, it's going to be half of whatever the hypotenuse is. And so that's going to be S divided by 2. And that makes sense, because DC has to be half of AC. And so half of S is S over 2. So now that we have DC, we can use that to find H. So across the 60, it's going to be whatever this is times the square root of 3. So it's the square root of 3 times S divided by 2. So now we have enough information to derive the formula. So we said that the base is s, and the height is the square root of 3 times s divided by 2. So right now we have 1 times the square root of 3, and on the bottom we have 2 times 2, which is 4. And then s times s is s squared. And so now you know how to derive the formula 
for an equilateral triangle. That's it. Thanks for watching.